Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will show you famous places in Morocco. Casablanca is a port city and economic hub on the Atlantic Ocean in western Morocco. The downtown Moresque architecture, a mix of Moorish design and European art deco, reflects the city's French colonial past. The massive Hassan II Mosque, erected in 1993 and partially above the water, includes a 210-meter minaret top with lasers aimed at Mecca. Casablanca is the country's principal entry point and many visitors first taste of Morocco, as it is home to the country's main international airport. With a sophisticated swagger unseen in other regions of the country, this bustling metropolis is Morocco's business powerhouse and industrial core. With the Atlantic Ocean over the horizon and enormous business buildings on every corner, it has beautiful palm trees bordering its roads. Casablanca is Morocco's economic heart, a bustling metropolis. Modern infrastructures sit in the midst of attractive districts, sandwiched between Arab Muslim heritage and colonial legacy. Explore all of the options. Take a trip through the Medina, which is one of Morocco's newest medinas, wander through the center and its art deco structures, and see the Hassan II Mosque, which is a magnificent piece of architecture constructed on the water. Allow yourself to be seduced by the city's joyful sight. Take advantage of the Cornices clubs and festivals like the Casablanca Festival, Jazablanca, and Tremplin El Boulevard. The coastline, which is bordered by beaches that are equipped to meet all of your needs, encourages you to participate in the most entertaining activities that will enhance your stay, such as diving, jet skiing, and boating. Casablanca, the White City, is a place where culture and peaceful activities coexist. Morocco has roughly 41,755 mosques, according to the Ministry of Aukaf and Islamic Affairs in 2016, of which 16,489 are Jama Masjids and 10,061 are explicitly designated as culturally significant. In a speech on July 9, 1980, King Hassan II claimed that he wished to construct this mosque on the water, because God's throne was on water. As a result, those who go there to pray and praise God on firm ground can gaze at God's sky and seas. This beautiful mosque, erected at great expense, sits on a rocky outcropping jutting out into the sea, with a 210-meter high minaret that serves as a city landmark. Hand-carved stone and wood, elaborate marble flooring and inlay, gilded cedar ceilings, and superb zelige geometric mosaic tillwork abound in this showcase of Moroccan artisanship. It's one of two Moroccan mosques open to non-Muslims, modestly dressed visitors can have multilingual guided tours outside of prayer times. There's also a tiny museum that displays the handiwork. It is Africa's second largest functional mosque and the world's seventh largest. At 210 meters, its minaret is the world's second highest. Although it is merely the world's seventh largest mosque, Hassan II claims to have the world's largest minaret. The minaret, which is 700 feet tall and towers above the Atlantic Ocean, is topped with a spotlight that beams east towards Mecca.
since Phoenician days, Tangier, a Moroccan town on the Strait of Gibraltar, has served as a crucial gateway between Africa and Europe. The Dar el Muqsin, a Sultan's palace that is now a museum of Moroccan antiques is located in the whitewashed hillside Medina. In an 1821 Moorish-style former consulate, the American Legation Museum. Also in the Medina, documents early diplomatic contacts between the United States and Morocco. During the 1950 and 1960, Tangier was a popular destination for artists and writers from Europe and the United States, and to a lesser extent in succeeding decades. Spain and Morocco are barely 14.3 kilometers apart at their closest point in the Strait of Gibraltar. On a clear day, each of the countries may be seen from opposite sides of the strait. Tangier is a natural entry point for European visitors. To observe the Sahara dune fields of Morocco, Travel east of the High Atlas Spine to the far eastern desert region near the Algerian border. Al-Chebi is the most popular place for vast and rippling sand dunes. Dune surfing, four-wheel drive dune bashing, and sunrise and sunset camel trekking are all popular activities which are generally paired with an overnight stay in a tented desert camp directly in the middle of the dune field. Simply sitting in the midst of the sand dune grandeur and gazing up at the star-filled Sahara sky at night is worth the long travel. Many people purchase a desert experience package that includes return transportation typically from Fez or Marrakesh, and an overnight stay in a desert camp. But you may also travel to Merzouga, the settlement next to the Earth Chevy Dune Field, on your own and plan activities there. Chefchaouen is a labyrinth hill town of blue-on-blue -blue houses that has an immensely picturesque radiance. Nestled within the verdant drift mountains. There isn't much in the way of actual sightseeing, which is one of the town's main draws. Wandering the Medina alleys and taking in all of the colorful architecture is all that is required of a stay here. If you've been spending a lot of time in the cities of Fez and Marrakesh, it's an excellent spot to recharge for a bit. This is also the beginning point and organization center for Rift Mountains hikes as well as one of Morocco's most popular hiking and trekking locations. On Morocco's Atlantic coast, Essoira is a port city and resort. The Medina Old Town is fortified by the Scala de la Casbah, which were built by European engineers in the 18th century. The walls are lined with old brass cannons, and there are ocean vistas. The city's crescent beach is renowned for surfing, windsurfing, and kitesurfing because to the strong, uneasy, trade winds. Essoira is still one of Morocco's major fishing ports. 
with the powerful trade wind blowing nearly continually onto the protected, practically waveless bay. Essoyara is also known for kite surfing and windsurfing. Essoyara can also be a noteworthy and intriguing stop on a longer Morocco itinerary for a number of nights. Essoyara exudes a laid-back, carefree vibe. There aren't many tourist attractions to visit, so there's no need to rush around attempting to check off as many as possible. Essoyara is not only safe, but also calmer and more easygoing than other Moroccan cities. Moroccans are generally friendly and respectable people, and unlike in some other nations, you will witness a lot of local ladies going about their daily lives. There are four imperial cities in Morocco. Idris I founded Fez in 789, making it the oldest of the cities. However, it did not become powerful suddenly. Fez did not reach its apogee until the Marine era, when it dethroned Marrakesh as the capital. Much of the city's historic core dates from this affluent period. Which gets us to Fez El Bali. Morocco's most enchanting Medina, while not being the only one. For starters, it is the world's largest car-free metropolitan region. Fez El Bali is a walled Medina with tiny, ornate and transways such as Bab, Visa and the Blue Gate. The vast 9th century Karawin University is adorned with colorful painted ceramics. And the tall Asif Mosque looks out over a bustling market area. Perfumes Spices Lambs and leather are among the items sold at the souk. While dining options range from street kebabs to elegant gourmet restaurants. For many visitors, the busy and energetic hum of Marrakesh Medina encapsulates Morocco and is a key tourist destination. The huge square of Gemma El Epine Square serves as the entrance to the ancient city, where it appears that half of the city congregates throughout the day and into the evening to mingle with stall vendors, traditional musicians, snake charmers and random acrobats. Once inside the Medina, you'll find yourself in a maze of alleyways and shopkeeper bustle. It's a vibrant and boisterous event that should not be missed on your Moroccan sightseeing tours. The Medina of Fez was formed at the time that Islam came in Morocco and the imperial control that would shape the country began in the 9th century. It reached its current size between the 12th and 13th centuries. Fez El Bali is an old walled Medina with tiny car-free lanes and ornate entranceways such as Bab, Visa and the Blue Gate. The vast 9th century Karawin University is adorned with colorful painted ceramics, and the tall Asif Mosque looks out over a bustling market area. Perfumes, spices, lambs, 
and leather are among the items sold at the souk. While dining options range from street kebabs to elegant gourmet restaurants. Mud brick houses date back to 110 BCE in Moroccan architecture. Islamization during the Idrisid Kingdom, Moorish exiles from Spain, and France's occupation of Morocco in 1912 all influenced the architecture. Horseshoe arches, a slum of domes, towers, and intricate and complicated geometric forms are all prevalent in Moroccan architecture. The Moors of Morocco entered Spain in the 8th century, fusing Moorish and Spanish traditions to create the Hispano-Moorish style. Sharp white walls, stucco roofs among the arches, and enormous domes are among the key design characteristics. The beauty of Moroccan architecture is that these components are often found mixed together with Islamic style structures like mosques and madrasas, Quranic schools. Moroccan furniture is distinguished by its rough hewn appearance, uneven and complex carvings, and mother of pearl or mosaic tile inlays. Moroccan design incorporates a variety of sumptuous materials in vibrant colors, exquisite textures, and hectic patterns. Velvets and silks are used in the upholstery. Morocco's coastline stretches along both the Atlantic and Mediterranean seas, providing an abundance of beaches waiting to be explored. There's no shortage of waves along much of the country's wide sand dune seashores, with some wonderful sights for keen surfers and water sports lovers. Legzira Beach, Tagazout Beach, Casablanca Beach, Summer Beach, La Sauce, Mole, Bozatun, Essoira, Malate, and others are some of the well known beaches. While some aspects of a trip to Morocco can be costly, it is generally a relatively reasonable destination. That's fantastic news for history, culture, nature, fine food, and epic city fans. It's all here in Morocco. And it's all accessible without breaking the bank. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.